Yeah. How you doing? See a driver's license, please. Yeah, okay. Can you turn down your jams for me? Okay. All right. Yeah, I well, was driving too fast. I'm yeah, you were. Yeah, okay. Man, there isn't a cop yeah. between Casa Grande yeah. and Coral Springs, Florida that wouldn't stop you for that. Holy oh. cow, you are 77 years old. Yeah, right. Woo. And you're wearing a cannabis hat? Yeah. You smoking? You still smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. I just bought it. All right. I, like, I was just wondering. I was wondering no. if you were, you know? No, I so, ain't. I don't. See your driver's license, please. Huh? It's in my house. I, I, I put it in my, my wife. It's in your house. Do you have a Do you have a license or is it suspended? Yeah. It's suspended, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why you're gonna call your wife if she's just gonna say, "Man, your license for, is for suspended." My, my ID. You rolled that stop sign. Uh huh. Then your license plates are suspended, and you are driving in two lanes from the entire way from Pert all the way here. Can you give me that stolen street sign that's behind your seat? Oh my God, forever ago from a friend. <laughs> This is property of the state. Yes, I know. It's from Pennsylvania, like 10 years ago. Like a long time ago. You can keep it any one. I don't want it. Come on. But uh, it's definitely not yours because it belongs to, probably belongs to the city of Casa Grande. Like they, they buy these and they put them up so people know which streets they're on. <laughs> any idea why I might have stopped you today? Speeding. Yeah. Yep, so the, oh, you're from California. Mm, welcome to America. So, speed limit on this road's 50 miles an hour. It turns to 45 right up here. But back here it was 50, and I got you at 67. So, you know your license is expired. Since October. Yeah. So, you shouldn't be driving, right? Hey, you have an hour. You know how funny it is how many times I see women that are totally squared away and then guys <laughs> that are like you? It's why it's, it's it's why we pick good women because they they sh they show us what we should do like have a valid license. She's squared away. Nice, good job, good pick. Now you don't have a valid driver's license, no. and you didn't have current proof insurance with you. Not a big deal. All you have to do is show it to the court. They're gonna throw that out. Get a valid license. If you guys could switch so that yeah. we can we can be legal when we when we leave here. I sure would appreciate it. Stepping my boundaries. If I could take a picture with you. No man, I love pictures. Babe, can you take a picture with me? Or you look very fall. You have a very, you have a good fall look. <laughs> Great way to start the year. Man, thank you so much thank for being you, cool. Man. I sure appreciate it. Oh, Ma'am, thank you so much for being man. so squared away. Happy thank you for year. doing all of the good things. I try. If you could put him in line, I sure would appreciate it. All right. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much. Today, we're gonna to do the MCG challenge. MCG is the Maricopa Casa Grande Highway. It's a roadway between Casa Grande and Maricopa. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of attention and people fly down it. Posted speed limits, 50 miles an hour. So we're gonna see how long it takes us to write three tickets for 20 miles an hour or more above the speed limit. So right now, it is 147 and uh, we're gonna see what we can do here today. It took us one minute to get the first car at 25 over. How you doing there? See your driver's license, please. Yep. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is your speed was 75 miles an hour. The posted speed limit on this portion is 50. 75 and a 50, it's the regular speeding ticket. Please slow down. Thank you for wearing your seatbelt, drive safe. The time right now is 155, uh, but I stopped that car at 148, so it took me one minute. The very first car that went by us was 25 over. <laughs> Chasing a car, just made a U-turn on it. It is 159 right now. And uh, we got this guy at 71. Hi there, see your driver's license, please. Oh, look at your little cow print steering hey, wheel. Yeah. I like that. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Hey. Any idea why I might have stopped you today? I was going a little fast. You were going a little fast. <laughs> so I so I locked you in a radar at 71 miles an hour. Okay. And the posted speed limit here is 50. So you're oh, you're okay. at a you're at a good yeah, you're at a good know going that fast. you're trucking. If you are above 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, it's considered a criminal traffic offense. Okay. I didn't write you a criminal ticket. Okay. <laughs> but just so uh, you know, for your own information, yeah. you are in that threshold because you're more than 20 over. Sure. But I save that for people that are like really over. Yeah. So you being one mile an hour over, we, we kept it in the civil range. Thank you. you can go to driving school if you're eligible. Okay. You can pay the fine or you can appear in court and go, hey, it wasn't me. Yeah. And those are your three options and whichever one's the best one for you, that's the one that you go with. Okay. Okay. You, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for being kind and wearing your seatbelt. Drive safe today. Time right now, 
14.14, and we're closing the distance on another 75. This is gonna be our third in less than an hour. It's like third in less than half an hour. Hey, may I see your driver's license, please? Absolutely. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Yeah. Any idea why I might have stopped you? Because I was speeding. You were speeding. I was, I went around, so I'm late to work. I see that. No. Poor time management. And I'm going to take responsibility, so I'll get you my insurance. I appreciate that. Because um, you know that you know that you're doing a criminal amount of speed, right? What? Because well, you're. I, I, I locked. Fifty-five. No, it is fifty. Okay. And I locked you in at seventy-five. What? Right on the button, seventy-five. Like I said, your speed is in the criminal realm. Right. I did not write you a criminal ticket. Okay. We kept oh. it. We kept it civil. So it keep, makes it a little bit easier for you to take care of. I know that it kind of sounds like a joke uh, to have a challenge out here on Maricopa Casa Grande Highway, but this is to bring to light the fact that this is a 50 mile an hour zone and that a lot of speeding occurs here. Um, I've responded to both fatal and serious injury collisions out here and it's a problem. So I'm out here, I'm out here all the time as much as I can get out here enforcing the laws. What I want people to do is drive safe, but obey the laws out here also. Do you know what the speed limit on that road is? I honestly don't know. Do you think that would be pertinent information to operating a motor vehicle? Yeah. Okay. Probably. So the speed limit, if you look over your right shoulder, it's posted as 25 miles an hour. Your speed, as you traveled away from me with no cars in between us, was 71. Oh, good gracious. That's what I said. Oh, I actually yeah. I used some different words, but good gracious gets the point across. <laughs> yeah. So Very you are so. almost triple the speed limit yeah. in the state of Arizona on any roadway if you exceed the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour over the speed limit it's considered criminal and you're like almost 50 over so pretty pretty close um so exceeding the speed limit exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour criminal all that means is that you have to appear in court talk to the judge why 71 to 25 is a good idea it's not a good idea. i i agree see your driver's license please i don't have a license right now it's uh i'm temporarily going through Oh, your driver's license is suspended. It's not suspended. I have a thing that says it's not suspended. I just went to court with it. Um, I'm going to go to DMV to get that taken care of because they dismissed my DUI. But what are you going to get taken care of if you have a driver's license? Well, when I went, I got, okay, so it's a long story. I got a DUI before and I'm going to pass it. Alcohol or drugs? Uh, the first one was for drugs. What was the second one? The second one was for alcohol, but they dismissed it. Okay. Because my, I wasn't drunk. I blew like a point nine, and so they took me. So, well, 0 .09, not 0 .9, is, not, 0 .09, 0 .09 is drunk. Point zero point, point, see, I have the tickets right point zero nine. Yeah, that's so, drunk. So, I mean, well, they considered it not, so they dropped it, and they gave me reckless driving, and so they dismissed the... That's called a plea deal. Well, you, you took a plea to reckless driving. Well, they dropped it, so I mean... Yeah. But it, I don't know how it goes, but they dropped it, they told me that, and she said they'd give them a couple days. Has anyone ever told you to wear your seatbelt? Yes. I just drove off from McDonald's because I was trying to eat, trying to hurry up and get to where I got to go. I see, I can quick. tell that you were hurrying. Yeah. So I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic yeah. Unit. Um, first reason that I stopped you is you're 61 and a 45 because you're in a hurry. Uh, second oh, reason know. is your registration on this vehicle is canceled. Your registration is? I bought it from my sister. I know that. So I don't know how. How long ago did you buy it from? Uh, probably about a good, maybe less than a month, maybe. About okay. a month, maybe. Okay. So did you ever put the vehicle in your name? I haven't yet. That's why, because I'm getting all this stuff in. Ah, okay. Let me see some registration paperwork, current proof insurance. You still live up in Phoenix? Yeah. See, you could drive like that in Phoenix all day long and not get pulled oh, over, no. man. So he's going to get a citation for driving while his license is suspended. Um, Arizona used to have a law that if you were driving while your license was suspended, that we had to uh, tow your car, which was awesome. And that was that law was great. Um, let state legislature, for whatever reason, took that law off the books, so we no longer have that mandate to tow a vehicle. Um, so we don't, it's not in our policy that we absolutely have to, and it's not in Arizona law that we have to. So I know that, like, the internet's like, oh, you should tow that car. Well, towing this car takes me off the road for an additional half an hour while I wait for a tow truck to get here. Um, and, and it doesn't really serve a purpose, because they could literally go in one hour and get it back. Um, because there's no hold on it like we used to have. So it's really a waste of my time to tow a vehicle. The court's located down the south side of Santan Valley, right on Hunt Highway. You have to appear there. The other thing I'm gonna tell you is that your license is suspended, so you can't drive. Yeah. You can call someone, they can, they, can, they can drive your car as long as they have a good li license, but you can't drive from here, okay? Right. That, is that clear, does that seem at least fair? Yeah. 
All right, man. I always try to be fair. Appreciate you being cool with me. Thank you so much, man. Be safe. See your driver's license, please. All right, one. All right. I like your, uh, I like your, like your rap anthem as you're going. It's a good soundtrack for riding dirty, which is what you're doing. So I'm Deputy Sloper. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is your plates are both expired and suspended. See your driver's license, please. Sorry, Frank. I'm trying to get to work, oh, man. I'm sorry, about that. Uh, That's all right, man. Well, as you know, I'm Deputy Sloper yeah, for the... You know, yeah. How do you know? I watch you. I watch on YouTube, man. You do? Yes, sir. Man, you got dark tinted <laughs> windshield, man. <laughs> I knew you were going to call me out on that. I oh, man, it's, it's the law. <sighs> so, so I like the... I knew you were going to stop me for that. But like, if you're driving around with an illegal window tint, and you obviously, you watch the videos that are created by the Pinal County Sheriff's Office, knowing that I'm out here fairly aggressively enforcing Arizona Motor Vehicle Law with the entire rest of the traffic unit, you'd probably be like, hey man, take that stuff off my windshield so I don't get bugged. And he's also at 62 miles an hour in a 35. And no, he's speeding. I'm going to give you a warning for that. All right, I'm going to document that I put it on there. Um, you're going to get a citation for speed because, like I said, man, you're you're moving at a good clip, right? The reason I stopped you is I locked you at 60 in a 45 on Hunt Highway there. And you got to gotta wear your seatbelt. Wearing a seatbelt is kind of a big deal. Well, I just pulled out. So my whole family works in law enforcement. So. People in law enforcement, like me, don't want their family members trying to use the fact that they've chosen this as a profession to try to get out of a ticket when you're 15 miles an hour above the speed limit and not wearing your seatbelt. Any idea why I might have stopped you today? I'm sure because they checked a text from my boss. Oh, it was more than a check. It was from like way down on Gansel, south of Empire, all the way up around the corner there, over the railroad tracks, through the woods, halfway to Grandma's house. Can see your driver's license, please? I don't have my wallet on me. It's at the house. You know, I just fixed the bike. The bike is registered and has insurance on it. Okay. Do you happen to have that insurance? I don't, actually. All right. Okay. Do you have anything? Registration paperwork? Any sort of identification? I wish I did. All yeah, right. So, any idea why I might have stopped you? I have two totally separate, unrelated reasons. Oh, God. I can only name one. Okay, what's the one you can name? I can name the 45, the 35. Well, it's 35, and you were doing 52 when we passed each other. Yep. So that's reason number one. Number two, you notice how you're squinting as you're looking into the, uh, into the sun? Yeah. Do you know why you're squinting? Because the sun is raining. Because you don't have any sunglasses on. Right? Well, you don't have a windshield, no. and you don't have any eye protection as required by Arizona law when you're operating a motorcycle. I really don't need one. You are incorrect. And now, if you had a mo if you had a windshield to protect your precious eyes, then you would need one. Okay. Um, but since you don't have a windshield, you need something to keep bugs out of your eyes so you don't crash your bike. So, do you have a motorcycle endorsement? I it's on my license. Okay, no, I mean, you, do you have one on your license? Not that I know of, no. I don't think so. I don't. I never took the class for it for the endorsement. Okay, but you know you need one. I know, I know. I, I've read online that I don't need one unless I was riding out past midnight or if I had a passenger with me. That's when I would need the endorsement. That's what I read the section. You, you have been, you have been the recipient of very poor information, like on a, on a whole bunch of different different topics here. There's so many violations that you committed that I couldn't fit them all on one citation. So all the ones that I can't fit on one citation, I'm just gonna give you a warning for. You don't have any sort of license on you, so if you were to get into a collision without your helmet and with no identifying features, I'd have no idea who you were. That can't be safe. Huh? Nothing. Have a good day. See, that's electric, so it doesn't apply. Yes, you can walk this bike home, yes, sir. right? And make sure you take a motorcycle class. You'll learn all the laws so you're not trying to interpret Arizona Motor Vehicle Law. It's confirmed stolen, and I'm just following it right now, kind of keeping my distance and waiting for some more units here so we can start a, uh, try to conduct a traffic stop and see if we can get them taken into custody. Here it is. It's on. Grappler's on? Yep. Someone get hands over here. Bring them over, bring them over right now. Go ahead. 
Stand, take, walk to your right. Walk to your right, to your right, to your right. Yes, keep going, to your right, to your right. Keep going, keep going, stop. You ready? Yeah. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Walk backwards. Stop. Take two steps to your right. Yes. Yes. Right. Walk backwards. Straight back. Straight back. Straight back. Straight back. Take them. Good. Anyone else in the car? Step out with your hands up. Step out with your hands up. Perfect. Face away from me. Stand just like that. Do not move. Ready? Ma'am, walk to your right. Walk to your right, all the way to the fog line. All the, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. The fog line's the white one. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Walk directly backwards. Walk directly backwards with your hands up. You're doing absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. Keep coming backwards. Keep coming backwards, we got you. We'll take good care of her. Keep walking backwards, ma'am. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking straight back. Keep walking straight back. Straight back. Keep going. Keep going. Take her. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So a Mark DPS cruiser came up, used a grappler device, which is a vehicle immobilization device that uh, disables the rear wheel of the car um, on that stolen vehicle. Um, as soon as it came to a stop, the driver who had probably done that before hopped out, um, knew exactly what to do, hands up, um, spun around, did a whole bunch of stuff, uh, was very easily uh, responded to my directions. Uh, vehicle was cleared, nothing, you know, no other people in the vehicle. We pulled the vehicle off the roadway to make sure that we reopened I-10 so traffic could get back moving towards Phoenix. Um, the entire scene was turned over to Department of Public Safety and well, we cleared stolen vehicles. You never know what you're going to find in there. Um, it is a felony to, to steal a vehicle. So you're dealing with a, a felonious suspect. Um, and it is the uh, industry standard to pull everyone out of gunpoint um, to do exactly what we did, have them come back to us uh, where we're staying, sitting in a position of cover. Everything worked out exactly as it should. That was the best case scenario for them. Any idea why I might have stopped you today? No. Did you notice, did you see that big, giant pickup truck towing a car past you on the right? Do you know why he passed you on the right? It's because you were camped in the left lane for like the last 20 miles. The left lane is for passing, and you were not passing anyone. You were being passed. So, slow vehicles, and if you're being passed, you're the slow vehicle. My license is suspended. Why is your license suspended? So you have a good license. You know he's suspended. Unbelievable. That's why you don't know that you can't be in the left lane. It's because you're a terrible driver and your license is suspended. Obviously, you shouldn't be driving, so you're gonna get a ticket for that. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't have trucks pulling other trucks past you on the right. So you're gonna get a ticket for that and hang tight for me. So the sheriff spends a lot of time out here on I-10. Uh, he's pulling people over, people like this guy camping in the left lane, and all he does is give warnings. I'm just doing warnings, just a verbal warning. I'm not going to give you a ticket. He's just nice and like he you know, talks to people and he's all happy. I write tickets. Driving while your license is suspended, canceled, or revoked, and failure to drive on the right side of the road for a slow speed because obviously you're being passed by trucks with trailers. All I need from you is a signature there that just says you promise to appear and that I don't need to take you to jail today. The other thing I need you guys to do, I need you guys to switch. You know how fast you were going? Where your top speed was? 
111 while you're weaving through traffic, passing cars on both the left and the right. Just need you to sign right there. It says that you promised to appear, and I don't need to book you into the Pinal County Adult Detention Facility. Any idea why I might have stopped you? Uh, no, actually not. Your speed was actually slow. Um, so I feel like you should have like a backpack and a tent because you were just, you spent the last, I don't even know how many miles just camping in the left lane. Do you see all those cars passing you on the right? If you're forcing cars to pass you on the right, you're going too slow in the left lane. The left lane is not meant for just cruising. The left lane, per Arizona state law, is meant for passing. In Sheriff Lamb's truck, you hear a lot about God, family, and freedom. You know what you don't hear in Sheriff Lamb's truck is this sound. Stay to drive on the right side of the road at a slow speed. When cars are passing you on the right, you are forcing them to make a dangerous move. Your copy of the citations in here. Uh, Central Pinal Justice Court is located up in Coolidge. You don't have to appear. This is simply a civil citation. Kind of a reminder like, hey man, you're going to be driving slow and forcing cars to pass you. Move over. So, strange. Yeah, man, I love pictures. Man, see, this is something that, that Sheriff Lamb, he doesn't get pictures on the side of the road of people after he writes some citations. So this is this is cool. Hold on, let me let me let me give you some of this. You don't have a driver's license. That's the other issue that we're dealing with. My stuff expired on the first uh, my birthday. On okay. November 8th. I That's a title birthday. transfer. Yes. Okay, so you don't have a valid license. I am working on that right That's now. That's not what I said. I uh, what you're working on it. it you, as of right now. As far as I knew, I have one. But you just said that you're working on that it and expired. that you have an identified identification card. Yes, that expired. As far as I know, I still have one. I'm just going down to transfer everything over. So I just moved here like less than two weeks ago. Not even that. Yeah, not even that. Okay. I moved here two weeks ago, if not less, and I'm trying to get everything situated and transferred over. And that's where we're heading right now because we just got money to go do everything. Interesting. Okay. Well, those are all the reasons I stopped you. You also you have to wear your seatbelt. I have seat, oh, seat belt support. Yeah, okay. Home. Do you have current insurance for your vehicle? Yes. Yeah. Here's your phone. Out of all the things that you're doing terrible, which is everything, right. at least your kids are properly secured in of child course. safety seats. Hang on, buddy. And out of all of the things that are important, their safety is the most important. Of course. Nice job. Thank and I you, appreciate Ad. that. I'm, I'm not trying it's a to big... be. I'm not trying to be illegal. I'm just trying to go and get everything situated. I, I so get it. I around. get it, man. Sometimes so you just it what just doesn't line up. I'm... You've never been issued a driver's license. That's kind of hard to believe. I had one when I was in the military. I was in what Mexico. state? New Mexico. Okay, one of the states to which you have warrants out of. Yeah, I know that. So when you leave Arizona, if you ever leave. Don't drive east because you have a warrant there. Don't drive west to California because you got a warrant there too. For what? I don't know. What do I have to um, California for? I don't know. Could you find out? I, I looked for it. I couldn't see. It just shows that you have a warrant. It's for contempt of court for something. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Custody federal. Okay. So don't go west because you have warrants there. Don't go, to don't go east because you have warrants there. Okay. So if you're gonna go anywhere, you're gonna have to go north and commit more crimes in Utah, Thanks. where then you can accumulate warrants there also. No, I see you're the only officer I've ever known that actually tells them not to go somewhere. Yeah, don't go there. Hey, yeah. On, I appreciate um, it. Ma'am, do you have a valid driver's license? Uh, That's no. Okay. I don't drive stick shift, but yes, I, I mean, I don't drive stick. I can call somebody that can drive it. Well, s <sighs> Um, can you go pick up Chris? I literally live right down the, down the street at the Quay, so, okay. so I can always drive it just back home. You can't park. drive it anywhere. You don't have the privilege to drive. So I took the plate off the car because that's not your plate and it's not registered to you. And the plate should stay with the... the uh, well, the kid, was told, the kid told me to keep the plate. That's yeah, suspended. So. Yeah, he told me to keep the plate because, I, like I said, I moved from Wyoming. Tom 16 is that me? I never had. I like Wyoming. Yeah, and I, I could return out of New Mexico. Okay, you don't. You do not have a driver's license in New Mexico. So, um, okay, wait a second. Do you have warrants out of Wyoming too? 
No. Are you sure? Not that I thought. Because you seem to leave a, you're like the Johnny Appleseed of warrants. Wow. Like everywhere you go, you're leaving warrants behind so you can find your way back. I'll believe it or not, I have not been to California in four years. That's good because if you go there, they're going to arrest you for your warrant. Well, contempt of court warrant, no, no, it's a book of release in California. It's probably, it's everything, everything is there. You are safe here on the road. I'm going to tell you not to drive because you do not have the right to drive. You don't have the privilege to drive. You have nothing. You have an identification card that you could go and cash checks with and get on a plane. That does not let you drive. So you can't drive, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Why are you parked? Blocking. That's, that's my bad. I was going to park right there. Or there's the right curb where you could have stopped for like a quarter mile back there with a nice flat dirt curb, right? Yeah. But we didn't do that. But instead we're blocking, we're facing westbound traffic in eastbound traffic, right? Mm -hmm. So none of this is good, right? And you're not wearing your seatbelt, which you probably also need to do. So, because now this car is going to hit you head on, right? Because there's no... This is literally, I, 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 can't, I can't even sugarcoat this. This is the dumbest thing that I've seen in a long time and incredibly dangerous, okay? So, and by the way, I stopped you for criminal speed, so you're also under arrest. So let's start with that. Um, go to, pull in these people's driveway here. My original reason for stop was you were in excess of 80 miles an hour. Posted speed limit on Arizona Farms is 50. So I don't know where I locked you in at, but I saw you at 81, 82, 83, 84. So somewhere in there is where I locked my radar at. Um, and then whatever that was there, which was, I don't even have words for it. So you have registration paperwork, current proof insurance, please. All right, if you happen to find your current insurance information, hang it out your window for me, okay? It's just like this one right here? That's what it should look like. How old are you? 22. You, at 22, you should probably know what your insurance card looks like. Yeah, it'll say it, it, insurance card. Yeah, I know. It's because I don't even have a car. Oh. Okay, that's... So if you're born in 2000, you're like a Gen Z person, right? Yeah. That answers all of my questions as to why everything's happened today. So first I saw you speeding. Then you failed to pull to the right curb because we ended up head on into traffic. Then I walked up, you weren't wearing your seatbelt, and then you don't have current proof insurance. So just in exactly how it happened is exactly what's on here. Do you have a mandatory court date? See your driver's license, please. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about what? Uh, I was just passing the car. Oh, the criminal amount of speed you were doing at 45 miles an hour over the speed limit? Your top speed was 95. I was doing 60. You, you just passed a whole bunch of cars, and I locked you. You're the only car that was coming at me at 95. That's so. crazy. <laughs> yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, wow, there's a minivan doing 95 miles an hour on Arizona farms. But then there you were. You are literally the fastest car I've seen all day today, and I've been on since four this morning. I'm sorry, I was just trying to pass the car. This is my bad. Your citation is for exceeding the speed limit by more than 20 miles an hour. Obviously, 95 is more than 20 over from 50. So that's a criminal traffic citation. All that means is that you got to go to the court, talk to the judge. I can't go on that side because I'd be right in the middle of the road. Can I see your driver's license, please? All right. Yeah, can you turn your video off there because it's really loud? Just there we go. All right, well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. Any idea why I might have stopped you? Uh, no, but I can't just try and call I you thought anyone. you were driving really fast. Well, you know what the speed limit on this road is? Uh, probably 45. It's 50 miles an hour, which means that I'm traveling at you at approximately 75 feet per second. So, when I'm traveling at you at a high rate of speed because that's what the posted speed limit is and you pull out directly in front of me where I almost rear end you that's not okay then you also have to wear your seatbelt so the fact that it's buckled in behind you there that's not how seatbelts work especially not if you're going to be getting into a collision driving in that manner where you pull out in front of people so may I see I your driver's get, license I have to get my purse. sure absolutely uh, don't open the door because you're you didn't pull off the road like I did, so literally you're... Let me pull over there. There we go, that's a good idea. Oh. Failing to yield from a stop sign means that you came to a stop, but then you pulled out in front of me and I almost hit you. And then lap and shoulder belts required is that you had your seatbelt buckled behind you instead of in front of you like it is now. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. You don't have a license plate on this thing. Oh, man. And you're in a 35 mile an hour zone here. 
and you're at 60 miles an hour when you cross that 35 mile per hour zone. I have the weapon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't touch that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, hang tight there. Let's just take that out. Oh, yeah, no. Keep that easy. Hey, that fence. I like those. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. All right. Good morning, late. I can tell you're late. And, uh, so, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic. You want me to see your driver's license? And uh, the reason I stopped you is you were speeding on Sunland Gin. The posted speed limit there is 50. Yeah. And I and I didn't even mean, didn't even mean to drive today because uh, is your license suspended? I needed to get my interlock today. Okay. And I just needed to take her to work, and, and that was all I was. That's all I was doing today, and that, that was it. I and so your license is suspended for a DUI. Yes, sir. Okay. And, until January, and I and I just needed to do this one thing, and that's. I was already extremely stressed about even doing it. I can tell. I can tell by your demeanor. And so I... I... Mm, okay. You have any weapons in your car? Just just a sporty five. If you would like me to get out, I can get out. Mm, just keep your hands where I can see them. I can do that. Okay. So, I'm glad that you told me because I'm looking at it and I was just wanting to yeah, see I'm, if you were going to tell me the truth or yeah, not. I'm, 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 I'm completely ecstatic right now. I'm... I don't think ecstatic's the right word, because that would mean that you would be excited to see okay. me, and I don't feel like you're excited to see me. No, I'm sure. So excite, ecstatic might not be the proper use of that word. But it's okay. I appreciate the, the attempt at a, at a broad vocabulary. Keep leaning just like that. I'm just going to grab that out of there. Hey, I appreciate a 1911 shooter. Shooting ball ammo. You keep looking for that, I'll be back. Lots of people carry guns, so we are used to dealing with people, and we just, we deal with it accordingly. Not a big deal. Um, Arizona's a gun-carrying state. We're a proud Second Amendment state. Obviously, my boss is, is all about the, the freedom of the Second Amendment um, and making sure you have guns with you. You're contacted on a traffic stop. Exactly what that guy did was perfect. Put his hands up here, and he's like, hey, do you, you know, my gun is right there. He didn't reach for it, because then I reached for mine, and. We, that, that goes bad, let the officer dictate is really the, the best way to handle when you have a gun in the car. Um, but we never want to be taken by surprise of like you open up the glove box, reaching for your registration, and there's a Glock in there. We don't know if you're reaching for your registration or your Glock, so if you're good, you keep your gun in your glove box, say, hey, before I open that up, I'll let you know that there's a gun in there. Your license is not suspended. I thought it was. I know. And that, that's where the problem lies, is that you like you know that driving is a privilege, right? Yeah. You don't have a right to drive, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to drive anyway. Luckily, you're not violating any laws except for not having your seatbelt on and your speed, but as far as your license, is fine. So this is just catalyst for wearing your seatbelt, catalyst for slowing down, okay? Yes, um... Now, if you did that, I would be ecstatic. Okay. I can, I can, I, All right. I can do that. Very cool. I appreciate that. All right. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic How you Unit. Doing? Hey, Good, you're, man. You're all, you're on the YouTube thing, huh? That's me, man. That's me. <laughs> I see you. You know what I haven't done a video yet? Uh, is why not to litter on the roadways in Santan Valley like oh, you just did. You just did a cigarette? Actually, yeah, man. No, you can't just be, ashtray. you can't just be taking your cancer sticks and flicking yeah. them out the window. You can't be litter. Right now, Anything that comes out your window. That's it, man. Anything. Man, you put a bottle in here, you know, or stop smoking. It's good, well, it's good for your health. Do you have any idea why I'm going to stop you today? I'm not going too fast. No, did you notice that you were well over this white line here as you were driving? Is that against the law? Well, yes, because you have to maintain, you have to drive in your lane. Oh. And on this side is where, like, bikes are and pedestrians. Right. You were like that from pretty far down on the other side of the bridge all the way up. And finally, I was like, I need to make sure that... You know, you're not impaired or anything because... No, not at all, sir. I just, um, like I said, I'm just nervous. I feel like one of the two of you should be wearing a seatbelt. No, I just made her take it off right now. You just made her take it off? Yeah. Any reason? Just that I'm pulling over, you guys. So why would you make your passenger no, I, 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 take I, I, her well, seat off? Because of her head. I'm trying to take her to the hospital. Okay. You know, I'm like, I'm in a hurry because she, she, she keeps hurting, but the toolbox is trying to fall, so I'm like, you see the, 
Okay, that's a very, very. That's what I'm saying. I'm that's a very, very small cut yeah, that's not actively bleeding. Yeah, but you, you never know, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a father, man. I'm just trying to hurry okay. up and get it back. Well, you're, you're a father with an identification card at a criminal amount of speed, almost double the posted oh, speed man, limit. I'm sorry for that, man. That's I throw down. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, Rich, see your registration and current proof insurance. We I just got the car. So what's your license suspended for? Or revoked or whatever it is? Um, I never, I, I had one and uh, I just forgot to go to the damn thing and get get one. So I'm, I'm just like, man. Okay, so you're 92 in a 55. Uh, yeah, and I'm sorry, that's just, I'm, I apologize for that. I apologize. That's my, that's my So fault. when did this, let's see. I, I just barely got so it. This is, I never, I, I never raised 30 because I'm. Well, barely is I, in, I, I barely in got money. March. I barely got money right now. Okay. So, so this is crazy. in March. So we're March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. That's so when, you're no, seven. That's when, that's when he got it. I just got the car. I just got the car. That's when he, he signed everything. And he said, they pull you over, just, you know, trying to take it over there. All right. So this is your car, but yeah. it's not registered. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm going to go to DMV. And I got to, I got, first, I got to worry about her, then go to DMV. My daughter, I'm concerned about my daughter right now. Sure. You OK? You look okay. You know, like I said, I apologize for that, man. That's good. I, I really Hang, Hang tight. They've gone down quite a bit. Now. So, they're, they're the little unrestrained girl in the passenger seat has a cut on her head the size of a nickel. Um, and he's at 92 with no license and no seat belts. I, I just don't understand why, I don't know, I, I, there's so much going on in there. There was like a title that was like half signed and not his car and I don't, I, there's a reason that we leave Santan Valley occasionally. It's so that we can share traffic enforcement with other parts of the county. Um, and out here it's desolate. The deputies are really far spread out. Um, they've got a lot of calls for service, so they don't they don't pull cars over as much um, because they're busy doing deputy things. Um, so the ability to come out here and just do traffic things is why you get to stop and have contact with people like this um, and issue them lots of sites because he needs that real bad. So driving with your license is suspended is your first criminal site, criminal speeds your second criminal site, not wearing your seatbelts your third, and then not having insurance. Um, and you know that this is a uh, by law. What do you mean? But this this is what happened. U.S. Supreme Court says no license necessary yeah. to drive automobiles. Just, yeah, I don't know where that is or what kind of they, weird. They, they just ruled against it. For all the United States citizens. I'm just letting you know. I don't. I yeah. don't know if that's true. That is because our, the, the police departments are taking money, literally, at the governments to militarize their own vehicles. I'm just letting you know. And I know the law. We're right. militarizing <laughs> yeah. our own vehicles. Yeah. Does that look like no, an MRAP to you? I'm not, I'm not talking about that one. But I, but I work for the government. Yeah, I know, I know. But I don't have military vehicles. No, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about like the fog vehicle and all that stuff, which they're going to use against the United States citizen later on with the United Nations. A lot of people don't even know them. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Got it. A lot of people don't know. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can learn all but, sorts but, of. Give me a fist bump. Bop. Thank you for letting you know. No, absolutely. So listen, what all you have to do is appear, tell that to the judge. Show him that article and say, hey, man, I don't need a license to drive. So even though my license is suspended, I don't need it anyway. All right. Yeah, just need your home. signature there. That just says, hey, man, go there. Talk to the judge. Say, hey, man, I don't need a license. I am a citizen here and these are my roads. I pay taxes. Um, see what his thoughts are on that. Wherever you're getting, get there safe. Yep. I'm going, right. to, I'm going to the dump in now. Uh, All right. And, and just so you know, as soon as you're, so you're going to go to the dump right now. Is that where you're headed? Then I got a ticket to the emergency room. Okay. So you're gonna go to the dump first yeah. and then the emergency room? Because I don't think it's an emergency if you're going to the dump first. I don't know why. Well, you can figure it out. I'll, I'll but just so out. you know, you can't drive, yeah. all right? Because you don't have a license. Okay, Thank you, bye guys.